December 11th workshop vlog number 14. Let's just jump in and do it. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now, workshop vlog number 14. Again, these vlogs are just my opportunity to reach out and say hello to everybody, see how everybody's doing and check in with you guys. And I kind of started this, like I said before, um, once the lockdown has happened, just a way of reaching out and making sure everybody's okay and checking in with everybody, see how you are and how your lives are getting on. I hope you're all doing well and fine and that uh, you're getting through these lockdowns okay. Hopefully, 2021 is going to bring an end to this nonsense. Fingers crossed, um, maybe by the summertime next year, we should be on the road. Or there should be some light at the end of the tunnel. Anyway, please God. But uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Like I say, it is December 11th. I didn't do a workshop vlog last month for us, so I missed November's one. There wasn't too much to update you with, and I was extremely busy. It's my busiest time of the year in my electrical work. Uh, come up to Christmas every year, it just gets crazy. Everybody wants to get everything done for December. It's like January is not going to happen, and it has to be done for the end of the year. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a crazy time. So I just want to do another vlog December, check in with you guys, give you guys some updates what's coming up in the channel and some things that I'm doing like that. So that's what this vlogs are basically about. Okay, so what's happening in the workshop? Well, you guys would have seen the MFT table build. Um, hopefully you've watched both videos. Um, the video in which I made the mistake and the video in which I show you the correction for the mistake. But top is working great. I've just been trying it out, getting to grips with it. I've been listening to some of your advice. So I probably will route in a, a sacrificial track into this. So I'll take some um, half inch MDF, some 12 mil MDF and route in a section of that. That can be a sacrificial piece that can be replaced and that will add to the life of the top. So that's all gonna come up. Now, I had hoped to be, to be making the router table video this weekend and having that up this weekend, but the parts have arrived from Germany so that will be next week so I might not get a project video up this weekend because I'm still waiting on those parts they might still arrive today but it's getting kind of late on a Friday now so I doubt it so um, that will be next week so that's kind of where the table is I'm listening to all your voice or some great advice when it came to MFT tables from all you guys in the comment section and like I say you guys are a mine of information so it's absolutely fantastic so I think I will take your advice like I said and route in a track into this so I'll show you all that in the upcoming video and we'll build a router table and then I can design to the store system from underneath. So that's kind of where this is at. Now another very important thing to think about this time of the year in the workshop is rust. Now I used to have a big big problem with rust. All my planes would rust. Uh, Ireland in the winter time it's just cold and wet. I don't think anybody does the cold and wet quite like Ireland. Maybe England does a, a bit of cold and wetness kind of like us but it's, yeah it gets pretty miserable and it's kind of a high humidity and freezing cold so everything tends to rust. But I've been using like I've showed this in multiple videos this Protect tool that I was sent by Workshop Haven. So I've been covering um, all my tools in this so I can finally give you an update. Now that we're in the middle of our winter now, it's December, we've had a good few months now of cold and high humidity and damp weather and all my surfaces are rust free. Normally I'd rub my fingers across uh, my planar top, my joint or top and uh, I'd have rust all over my hands. So it's not the case, this stuff is working. Now you still have to apply it Every now and again, you can't just put it on and forget about it. You still have to look after your tools. But let me show you the hand planes. They are all rust free as well for the first time ever, which is fantastic. Now the hand planes, like I say, the chisels and everything are all pretty much rust free. Now normally I get a lot of rust build up on my tools. The dehumidifier has also helped and this cabinet has also helped. But uh, the big thing this year has been using that Protect tool and it has really, really worked. It has kept all the rust off the tools. And you've got to treat all your metal areas um, every couple of months with it. But I have to say, it's absolutely fantastic. There's not a spot of rust on any of the tools. They are all pretty much spotless, which is absolutely fantastic. Even the ones that I don't use very often, that don't come out very often. These are the real old ones. This is about 70 or 80 years old, this Stanley hand plane. There's only the marks of the old rust when I clean these things up, but there's no new rust on them which is absolutely fantastic and they've been sitting there for months they don't get a lot of use especially the real old um, Stanley sweethearts I don't like to take them out too often because these are, are 100 years old and they're kind of like uh, heirloom pieces now with the sweetheart blades in them but uh, yeah they are all pretty much rust free which is absolutely fantastic so that stuff really works so I highly recommend you get yourself some of that guys if you're having problems with rust because this is the first year ever that I'm not having problems with rust, which is great. Now, something else that's new is the workwear. I've 
bought some uh, new sneakers gear, so I've got like a, a body warmer vest type thing. I've got some hoodies, there's some nice hard wearing hoodies. So, um, and I've got the pants. Now the pants, I really like, they're absolutely fantastic. These are sneakers all around work, slim fit stretch pants they're called. And these are the most comfortable pair of pants I think I've ever worn in my life. Now if you do decide to get yourself a set of these, get a size bigger than what you would normally get because they're hard to fit into. I had to kind of slide down the stairs to squeeze into the pair that I ordered. So I had to send them back and uh, get a slightly larger size. But they're stretch material, they're a stretch fabric. They're extremely comfortable. You could literally go and do yoga in these. They're like a pair of yoga pants for work. So uh, I highly recommend them. Again, I bought these with my own money. I might do a review on some of the all around work pants that I've got. I've got a couple of different types. I've been trying them out, I've been using them, I've used them, and they seem to be standing up and are not as expensive as some of the other sneakers trousers. So, these ones are new, so I haven't tested them much yet. I've been wearing them now for a week or two, but I have to say comfort-wise, absolutely fantastic. You have stretch material all in the back of the legs, and uh, yeah, you can literally lunge your way around the job site. Okay, so coming up on the channel now, I have a couple of bigger projects planned for next year. I wanna rebuild my main workbench. Um, I think it's time for an upgrade. Now, I'm still trying to focus on how to keep it as cost effective as possible and make a really nice hand tool workbench that maybe you guys can make as well. So I'm thinking maybe making a bench from Southern Yellow Pine. I built um, a big deck at the back of my house all from Southern Yellow Pine. It's been there now six or seven years and it, the, the wood is as still as good as the day it went in. So it's actually great stuff. So it, it's a little bit obviously more expensive than standard pine, but it's a lot better. It's a nice wood to work with. It's relatively not free and uh, you can build a good table for it. So that's what I'm kind of planning at the minute. It might not work out 100% that way, but I'm definitely in the new year, in the next year, we're gonna build a new workbench. Um, we'll probably include a lot of features that are in this and some new ones as well that I want to add. Another thing I want to do is build a proper tool storage cabinet, one that opens out and folds out. I want to do a really nice one with some nice hand tool joinery in it. So one thing I want to focus more on next year is actually improving my own woodworking skills. A lot of projects I'm doing are kind of, um, I suppose, building simple workbenches, miter saw stations. It's all stuff I really like to do, but it's nice, quick, easy, screw and glue together. It's like Lego sets or Meccano sets for all the world. It's that kind of woodworking. So I wanna focus a little bit more on joinery and develop my skills. So hopefully you guys will find that interesting watching me uh, try and develop my skills and maybe that might help you guys develop your skills as well. So definitely two projects that are gonna come up next year. We're gonna do a workbench, definitely do a workbench and hand tool joinery in that as well. Maybe something like a Rabo style workbench bench but made from Sony Yellow Point to keep the cost down and still have a great workbench and we want to build a proper hand tool cabinet that I can lock away all the tools so something nice to go on the wall behind me here so that's kind of two plans that I have now I have a couple of companies well, a lot of companies that are now contacting me. So the channel is growing, which is absolutely fantastic. It's, it's at 22,000 subscribers now. I set a goal at the start of the year to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and it's doubled that. So that's absolutely fantastic. It's really grown, and it's, it's starting to accelerate even more now. So I'm getting emails from lots and lots of companies now. So I have a couple of companies maybe next year that might want to do some sponsored content, but it will all pertain to woodworking and making stuff, and it won't be anything like games or video games or any of that kind of stuff. It'll all be wood products, manufactured timber products, tools that relate to what we're doing. And like I told everybody, if I can't be honest, I'm not doing it. So that's basically the bottom line. So you know you're gonna get an honest review here anyway. So I have a couple of companies in the new year. I might be doing some sponsored content. And uh, yeah, that's just basically where that is. So I just wanna let you guys know and let you know and see what you wanna think about that. Now, a quick question I want to address, and it's a question I get a lot. Um, uh, you guys are emailing me a lot, so I leave my email now for this channel below in the comments below. So if you ever want to shoot me an email, feel free. I might not be able to get back to everybody because I get a lot of emails now. Or even just leave a comment. I try to get back to everybody in the comment section. But biggest question I'm asking, I, I get asked now at the minute, is where am I sourcing my hardwoods from? For, or where's the best place to get them here in Ireland? Well, I use the company McMahon's. Now, I'm not paid. I'm not sponsored by them. They're just local here in just where I am in Waterford's. 
uh, just outside Waterford City. So the McMahons are in Waterford City in Southern Ireland. They also have a place in Limerick and Dublin. I've not been to those two places. So some of you guys said you went to Limerick and they weren't too nice to you there. But the guys in Waterford are absolutely fantastic. I can just walk in there. Now it is kind of um, geared towards people in the trade rather than hobbyists working in there. But they'll sell you any amount of uh, hardwood, any lengths, any even short pieces. You get all your hard um, woods there, including all your manufactured timber products. So they have all the MDF, all the birch ploy boards, all that kind of stuff. Now, a number of you guys are up in Northern Ireland and you've been emailing me as well. Like I've got dozens and dozens of emails from lads in Northern Ireland. They are where to get hardwoods. I'm not too sure guys about Northern Ireland where to get it. So what I'm asking now is any of the Irish guys watching this now, if you can leave in the comments below where you source your hardwoods for your projects and just let the rest of the guys in the community know they are because people are trying to source hardwoods all over Ireland now. So if any of you guys can help out, Give me a good spot where you recommend that you can go in, especially for hobbyists and project type guys who are not in the trades, that want to get themselves some, their hands on um, some hardwood for projects. Let me know, get in contact, and I'll share that information with the community. So that's one thing I want to ask. Now, I know the carpentry store do do small uh, hardwood size stuff, so for smaller projects. So just Google the hard or the carpentry store. They are in Kildare. They do some great stuff. They also do all the UJK path guide system and they're also, I believe, um, they are like a retailer for all the Axminster stuff as well. So they sell all the Axminster stuff here in Ireland. So definitely check them out as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Just talking to the Irish guys now. Where do you source your hardwoods? Let the rest of the guys know because the two places I go or the places I go aren't available to everybody, both north and south. So let me know in the comments. Now another announcement that I want to make is that I finally set up a Patreon account. So lots of you guys have been emailing me and messaging me you now for the last while asking me will I please set up a Patreon and some of you want to help support the channel. So I finally done it. So I'll leave the link to my Patreon below. If you want to help support what I do here and become a Patreon for the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That would help me out a lot. So I finally set it up. Like I said, it's a link below. You can join at whatever amount you want and price of a cup of coffee a month or whatever, anything like that. And don't worry if you can't do what I understand, there's absolutely no um, pressure whatsoever to join up. Everything will still remain on YouTube. Everything that I was going to upload to YouTube is still going to be all free on YouTube and it will be forevermore. It's just that if some of you guys who are emailing me and asking me to set up a Patreon, you guys wanted to support the channel, so you now can and join for whatever amount you want a month. Now, I will put some content on Patreon, but it won't be any of the projects or anything like that. All the projects and all the tool reviews and any information that's relevant to the community will always be on YouTube. It won't be locked behind a paywall. There is a community section on Patreon, so, the Patreons, you guys will get more access, I suppose, because I'll be able to interact with you guys better. I'll be kind of able to interact with you live in the community section. There's kind of forum sections for the members and things like that. Now, I'm still getting to grips with Patreon, so I've only just set it up. I'm not sure how everything works on there yet. So if you want to join up, feel free to, to do that. Again, I'll link it below, so check it out. And uh, all the support that you can give will help the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. And again, absolutely no pressure. Everything is still going to be on YouTube anyway. It's just for the people who wanted to help support the channel, you can now do that through Patreon. So there you go. Hey, that's kind of it for the monthly update for uh, December 11th. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Oh, I do. I want to say best of luck to the Waterford hurlers now. To everybody else I learned, you're probably wondering, what is he talking about? Well, my home county of Waterford are in the all Ireland final this weekend. They're playing Sunday. Uh, I don't think the all Ireland final has been played in December in like a hundred years. Nobody can attend the match. And Waterford haven't won the all Ireland since 1956. So well before my time. And I've been to a couple of all Ireland finals and been bitterly disappointed. But they have a great chance this year. So hopefully, fingers crossed. This will probably be the year I've been winning when nobody can go to the stadium and watch the match. But uh, best of luck to the lads. I hope they... Hope they do it. So I'll be cheering them on on Sunday, having a few drinks. I'm quite looking forward to that. So yeah, best look to the lads. Now, I'll probably do another workshop vlog somewhere around Christmas Eve. So it's kind of tradition to have an old drink with you guys on Christmas Eve. So maybe I might set that vlog up as a premiere. That means everybody can get into the live chat comment section and then maybe I can join you guys in the live chat comment section. Christmas Eve, we might toast a whiskey. And speaking of whiskey, 
if you guys haven't, uh, I know I've said this to a bunch of you guys, but anybody that's new here, I have an actual whiskey channel where I do whiskey reviews and tell a few stories and a few Irish toasts and a few jokes, that kind of thing. It's kind of lighthearted and kind of easy going, but I do review some whiskey. So if you want to come over and join that, that's also linked below. I'll see you guys over there for a whiskey. So uh, yeah, that's kind of it. That's just a workshop vlog. It's just a way of checking in with you guys, see how everybody's doing. I hope you have all made it uh, safely to the end of 2020. We're almost there now. We're almost into 2021 and hopefully it's going to be a better year. The only thing I have to worry about now actually is Brexit. Nobody knows what's going to happen. That could seriously affect uh, me next year in getting tools from England. So I do buy tools from Axminster and Workshop Heaven. But if if we don't get a trade deal sorted with, between the UK and Europe, I don't know what they're doing. It should just just do a deal for God's sake. I wish and everybody stopped throwing their toys out of the pram. But if that doesn't happen, then there's going to be import duty and VAT and everything, and it's going to make it nearly impossible to get anything delivered from the UK. So next year could be a nightmare in that regard. So fingers crossed it won't. Look forward to Christmas and having a few drinks. We'll think about Brexit when Brexit happens. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that's it, guys. That's it for December 11th. Don't forget, I have a Patreon. If you want to support me there, feel free to do so. The links are in the description. Like I say, uh, everybody that's new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. You'll get a notification when I upload videos. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And uh, that's basically it. It's just workshop vlog number 14, December 11th. Best look to the Waterford Hurlers. And I hope you're all doing well, guys. I shall see you in the next project, that router table. Hopefully the parts will be here soon and we can get into that project. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. Thank you.